Nolagent here. Mark Twain's good stuff in here. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we visit Mark Twain's Pizza Landing for our restaurant review videos to experience their New Orleans pizza. Mark Twain's Pizza Landing is located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 2035 Metairie Road, which is about 13 minutes and 8 miles away from the French Quarter. Mark Twain's Pizza Landing opened up back in 1985 and has been a popular neighborhood pizza joint ever since. Their great location on the economic artery of Metairie Road really makes this a popular spot that's easy to get to. When you're looking for where to eat pizza in the New Orleans area, Mark Twain's Pizza has a selection of some really interesting and creative medium crust pizza options. And it also has a really scary mannequin of Mark Twain in the window too. Mark Twain's Pizza Landing serves more than just pizza as they also offer a selection of soups, salads, chicken wings, and sandwiches. This area of Metairie Road does have quite a large selection of restaurants, so Mark Twain's does have quite a bit of competition in the area here. So, you've always got a wide variety of options to check out and look at when you're here in this area. It has actually been quite a few years since I last dined in here, so let's just go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So when we walk in, you see they've got quite a few tables in here. So they've got two dining areas. This is the main front room, and then they have another side room. So there's a lot of interesting memorabilia on the walls all throughout the restaurant. And they've got a lot of interesting stuff you can see with local flavor inside here, along with their namesake, Mark Twain, also gets some attention in here. So, plenty of interesting things to see, along with a lot of pizza boxes as well. So, they're very busy with the pizza orders here. Let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So, we have appetizers with buffalo wings, famous breadsticks, chicken bites, baked french fries, cheese sticks, then we have Po' Boys with Calvera's County Ham and Cheese, Jim's Roast Beef Po' Boy, Tom Sawyer's Shrimp Po' Boy, and Dewey Sausage Po' Boy, Brad Roth Meatball Po' Boy. Then we have Sandwiches with Smoked Turkey and Muff Potter Muffaletta. Then we have Pizza Specialties of the House with the Creole Pizza, which is a combination of shrimp and Dewey crab meat and zucchini, a huck fin, a Life on the Mississippi, Innocence Abroad, The Dano, The Mysterious Stranger, Samuel Clemens, Barbecue Chicken, and Deluxe. Then we have Made to Order Pizza, and we have a choice of a 9 inch small, a 12 inch medium, and a large 16 inch. And then we also have Calzone, so they have uh, different toppings that are available. Then we have our soups and salads with an Andy Pasto salad, Aunt Polly salad, Sammy Caesar salad, Mark Twain salad, Becky Thatcher salad, and a seafood gumbo. On the other side of the menu, we have desserts with a New York cheesecake, a messy sundae, then our selection of beverages with soft drinks, beers, draft beers, and wines. So I decided to start out with a seafood gumbo because what else are you gonna eat at a pizza place but gumbo, right? Well, in New Orleans, in some places, you can start out with a gumbo. So of course, I added a little hot sauce. They didn't have my Tabasco sauce, they only had Crystal. That seems to be a more and more common thing. Tabasco sauce is getting really hard to find and Crystal seems to be everywhere. Wow, look at the size of these shrimp. These are really good sized shrimp. It smells really great and it tastes really great. So they make actually a really good seafood gumbo in here. So it's got some okra in there I see and um, mm, these shrimp are really good size. The flavors are all on point and the hot sauce kicks up all the other flavors even more. So I am enjoying the gumbo. If you ever pay a visit to Mark Twain's Pizza Landing, this is a really good appetizer option to start out with. It really is quite a nice item. So this definitely is uh, making me quite happy. This uh, definitely is very well prepared and the shrimp are above average for gumbos these days. So oh, definitely is going down easily and quickly. So I would say this is definitely making my meal start out quite positive so far. 
Okay, I'm getting a little sad now. I'm down to my last fight. This was a very nice gumbo, and I'm so sad to see it go. But just like I destroyed this gumbo, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this gumbo. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Now I've got the roast beef po' boy, so let's dig into this. It looks pretty and like it's full of gravy, so this could be very delicious. It looks nice, so let's see here. We got it dressed with some lettuce and tomato and creole mustard. It's time for the first bite. Let's see. Ooh, this, uh, this meat is kind of tough. It's uh, not tender. It's not biting easily. It's really very tough here, so um, I don't know if I've ever eaten roast beef po' boy meat quite this chewy and tough before, so uh, this is definitely not like any roast beef po' boy I've had before. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. Uh, the uh, gravy flavor is nice, the bread is good, but the meat is just um, quite a lot tougher than I am used to. This is definitely some very chewy, chewy meat on here. I'm not sure if maybe it needed to cook longer and break down some more. Uh, maybe this is uh, an off day, hopefully. So uh, this is uh, hopefully not their normal roast beef. Hopefully I've just arrived on a bad day because this is definitely far too chewy to be a good roast beef po' boy. So, Definitely, it is a slice style roast beef po' boy, and the description of it sounded fantastic on the menu, but um, the actual reality of biting into this is definitely um, not the best piece of uh, roast beef po' boy example I've had. So, not not uh, knowing quite else what to do, but just powered through. I'm gonna eat all of it and. Uh, Get through as quick as possible. I think I've eaten all the meat out of it now because it was so uh, chewy and tough that it all just came out from the bread. I mean, pure bread because you know how much I love more bread than meat. That just always makes me so happy. So, you know, probably I should save this for later, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, go ahead and destroy the other half because uh, what else am I gonna do with it? I don't think the meat's getting any more tender just sitting on the sandwich. So uh, maybe I could take it home with me and put it in the crock pot and let it sit overnight, that would maybe improve it, make it much more edible. Um, I'm uh, only a few degrees of improvement on this meat than beef jerky would be. That's how chewy this stuff is. Uh, it definitely is uh, not in the tender category in any way, I would say. So definitely uh, more cooking is certainly needed, I would say, in my opinion. Um, or maybe people like a super chewy piece of roast beef on their po' boy like this. And uh, that's the specialty of the house. I'm uh, not so much enjoying it being so very, very chewy like this. I've never in all of my life at any restaurant in New Orleans had a piece of roast beef that was this chewy on a po' boy. So this is definitely a unique experience for me. So hey, hey. and I'm certainly not a quitter, although I really would like to quit eating this because it's just not that uh, tasty. It's not the flavor and the texture, it's not working for me. So I'm not enjoying this at all. I'm forcing it down as I don't know what else I would do with it. Um, definitely, I would not recommend getting this po' boy again if this is their normal roast beef on here. I hope this is an anomaly and it's not their normal roast beef as this thing is just not at all easy to bite into and chew. So it's a lot of uh, excessive need to chew on the meat of the sandwich here that is uh, very tiring. I'm getting very tired now. My jaw is getting tired from all the chewiness. It's like, oh, this is exhausting. I'm getting, getting very uh, exhausted from this uh, very uh, interesting sandwich, definitely. So this is uh, definitely an interesting roast beef po' boy. Just like that old Chinese curse of me you live in interesting times. And my favorite thing, I'm left with a bunch of bread to finish off with in the end. So, yay, I finished. Ho, ho, ho. 
Man, I didn't even make that big of a mess, so it wasn't even a sloppy roast beef po' boy like we really love in New Orleans, so... Just like I destroyed that po' boy, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this roast beef po' boy, and while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because hey, I work for tips, and after this, I'm probably gonna need some dental work, too. Now, it's time to try the pizza. This is a cheese and mushroom. And the pizza here has a medium crust thickness, and it's okay. It's not my favorite pizza, but it's not a pizza that I hate. It's right there in the middle of the road for me. Ah, uh, the crust is crunchy enough and crisp enough, typically, and it generally is okay. So it's not a pizza that I really crave, but it's not one that I'll hate. So it's just, uh, you know, it's all right. The Creole pizza here is the most unique offering they have here, and that's probably what most tourists would like to try, as it's a combination of shrimp and dewy sausage, crab meat, and zucchini. So those are definitely more unusual toppings for pizza. And in New Orleans, we typically do have better versions of all of those items. So just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. And the total for my meal was $20.85 before tip for two people. And that was with a $5 discount they were offering. So that was a pretty good deal overall for two people. So go ahead and comment below and let me know what you thought about the meal gear. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. And if you could also just share this video with any of your friends or contacts, that really would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And thanks so much to everybody at Mark Twain's for many years of pizza. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Dolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And make sure you tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.